AI, AR, VR, TikTok, third-party cookies going away, data being the most important thing. You've got so many things to be in charge of and keeping your finger on the pulse of as a marketer, and it changes every day. It's chaos. It really is chaos. And there's only one way to make sure you can build an efficient, effective marketing machine, and that is to make sure you have the right people building it. We all know marketing is just a byproduct of great creative human beings or data-driven human beings organizing these messages together to make sure that they're influencing and impacting acting people in a positive way that reflects back on a particular brand. So whether you're working for an agency, which means you have many brands that you're working for, or you're working with one brand, you need to stay focused on all of the changing ecosystems and channels and, and software platforms and tools and trends. And you need to make sure you have the right people doing it. So I'm going to talk about the four most important positions in marketing as I see it today for the majority of companies on this planet. So let's dive into it. Okay, so the first most important one is a chief marketing officer. Now, many of you watching this video, you might say like, well, we don't, we're not a huge company. We don't need a chief marketing officer, but you do. And here's why. In today's day and age, there's so many things going on, as I mentioned. And as a founder or a CEO or a president, you've got so many things you need to worry about to just keep your company afloat. Finances, you need to protect your company with insurance and legal uh, ramifications and liabilities. You need to make sure that the operations are running smoothly to actually facilitate the supply and logistics of your product or your service. You've got to make sure that your service is top notch. So you have to have great customer service. And then marketing is one of those things. And obviously I'm a little bit biased, but marketing is one of the most important drivers of a company because without marketing, you can't create demand and without demand, a lot of the other things that you're preparing for, the ops, the legal, doesn't matter. Even to the point after initial funding, seed funding or, or however you get your funding, the remainder of that financing goes to re-upping inventory, improving processes to deliver the actual product that marketing is helping you sell. And I'll loop sales in with that, right? So sales kind of is a function of marketing and marketing is a function of sales today. They are not separate. They should be working together. And a chief marketing officer is one of those positions that can help a founder or a CEO or a president. It can help the executive team tie in all the different departments together and all the communication that needs to happen between the departments, externally out of the departments with other partners and vendors, but also externally to customers to create demand. A chief marketing officer is not just a marketer. A chief marketing officer is an executive. They are thinking about the P&Ls. They are thinking about the finance. They are meeting with the CFO about the finances in order to make educated decisions on marketing. They are meeting with legal to make sure that the marketing messages are adhering to rules and regulations in particular industries. They are meeting with the ops team to make sure that if they are marketing the heck out of a certain thing, that the company can actually facilitate and supply the product to those increasing demands. So a chief marketing officer is a business person. They are not a marketer. And I believe that once a company reaches about $10 million in revenue, they should be hiring a chief marketing officer in order to take a hold of these really important business aspects as it relates to marketing. So a chief marketing officer is one of the most important positions once you reach a revenue amount of about $10 million a year. The second most important marketing position is a marketing director. You could swap this out with marketing manager, you could swap this out with marketing coordinator. Essentially a marketing director, manager, or coordinator, depending on the size of your company or how, how hard you're pushing into marketing, is an excellent organized project manager that has a strong foundation of marketing. All right. This person is responsible for organizing the marketing plans, the tasks related to finishing that marketing plan, the tasks related to distributing and delegating marketing specific problems to solve and tasks to, to facilitate deadlines. It's keeping the team fully organized. While the CMO works on high level decisions and problem solving related to finances and market crashes and trends going away and changing direction of the business and the way it's communicated. The marketing director is the one that takes all of that information based on high level large scale execution and deploys it into the actual ecosystem. It's they're the ones that are facilitating something actually getting on TikTok or something actually being sent out in a press release. So a marketing director or a marketing manager or a marketing coordinator is the second most important aspect or part of your marketing team. Okay. The third most important is a growth marketer. 
All right. So your CMO is working with the CEO and the CFO, or at least your executive team, whoever it might be to solve large scale problems related to marketing. The marketing director is the one who's managing projects and actually executing the strategic marketing plan, making sure uh, shit gets done. The growth marketer is the one who's paying attention to all of the data, market data, financial data, click through rates, open rates, CPCs, OKRs, KPIs, and every other acronym related to marketing. They're the ones that are organizing all of these things and then helping to make decisions and structuring a well-designed funnel to make sure that customers get into and move down the funnel to becoming actual customers. Audiences rather are going down the funnel to become actual customers. So the growth marketer, they're paying attention to email marketing, to paid media, to conversion rate optimization on the website, to app usage, to podcast listenership and YouTube viewership. They're the ones that are keeping track of all these numbers and then telling a story from those numbers. They're the ones taking the data and saying, here's where we are, here's historically what we've seen, and here's what we need to do with this now. And the fourth most important marketing position is a content creator slash marketing specialist. So depending on the industry that you're in or what you're trying to sell, your marketing specialist is the one who's actually, they're putting out content. They're the ones that are creating and putting out content. Now, if you're in a bit more of a professional style business, you know, B2B maybe, your marketing specialist may be putting out more written content, white papers, PDFs and presentations and things like that. And if you're in the more consumer side of things, a content creator are creating vertical videos and TikTok videos and reels and YouTube shorts and YouTube long form and podcasts and things like that, right? So you again, this is kind of interta interchangeable. I lean towards 90% of you out there need a content creator, even the B2B ones, because a content creator can turn on a camera and do some interviews and ask interesting questions to customers and partners and then use that for to split up into content, which can be distributed across all the social media platforms. They can work with the growth marketer to create content for paid media or emails. You know, so so the content creator is the one that's actually making the videos, the photos, and the text that will go out on these different platforms. All right, so this is not an exhaustive list, of course, but these four marketing positions can build a seriously powerful marketing machine if you hire the right people. So I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with some tips on hiring the right people for each four of those positions because I deal with them every single day. I have them as employees. I interact with them in the different companies that we work with. And here's what makes a great CMO, marketing director, growth marketer, and content creator. Okay, first, a CMO. You want somebody who is a dreamer that can still pull themselves back down to ground as soon as they land on a good idea or good strategy. So you want somebody who has vision. You want somebody who looks into the future and looks at everything and says, you know what? Everything is an opportunity here. Everything should be looked at and thought about, and we should move forward with the ones that are the biggest, most audacious goals until there's a barrier that we cannot go over, around, or through. That's who you want in a CMO. You want somebody who's going to charge forward big ideas, take calculated risks, and most importantly, somebody who's going to own every single decision that is made. Even if it wasn't their fault and something bad happened, you want a CMO who is a true general and a true leader who can work alongside a CEO, CFO, COO, as well as guide and inspire everybody underneath them. That's what makes a great CMO. All right, a great marketing director is somebody who is highly, highly organized. This is somebody who you walk into their house and it's clean and crisp and the design is fantastic on the walls and the furniture's organized. This is the type A type person that you want. You don't need a super creative person as your marketing director. You need somebody who's organized, who can write really clear, clean copy. That last part, the reason is because you need them to be a great communicator. You need them to be able to write great emails. You need them to be able to write great strategic marketing plans. You need them to be able to write uh, communications, job descriptions. You need, to, you, you need them to be able to write really clearly and cleanly. And in some cases, they might fill in actual copy, copywriting, right? So they do have that skill. But priority is they are a great project manager. They're very, they're very organized and they understand the core concepts of marketing, the four Ps or the seven Ps, whatever you want to, to, to lay out there. But a great project manager that has a deep knowledge of marketing and has seriously, seriously good copywriting. Okay, a great growth marketer. This person is a data freak, but they don't just love numbers. They know what to do with numbers. 
they know when to look at traffic to a website or open rates and analyze what they should be and make educated decisions on what needs to be done now. For instance, if a particular email campaign starts out with crazy high open rates, like 60, 70%, but the click-through rate in the email is really, really low, like 0.5% or something like that, then they know that the headline is attractive and or clickbait. It's either super attractive and the email doesn't follow through or the subject line is total clickbait and they get there and they're like, this email is full of shit. This is not what the subject line said. So a growth marketer is gonna be able to identify that and then say, you know what? Our subject lines are great or our subject lines are spammy and we need to make sure that our subject lines are correlating with what's actually in the email and giving that people the value that they expect. And so I suggest we change the email to be X, Y, and Z. That's what a growth marketer is going to do. And they're going to do that for paid media. They're going to do that for the website. They're going to do that for ads. They're going to do that for podcasts and everything else. All right. And a great content marketer. This is a forward thinking trend chasing creator. This is somebody with the need to create special experiences for people. That's what makes a great content creator. They need to be naturally creative, but they don't need to be creative in every single discipline. They don't need to be an excellent copywriter and an actual excellent editor and an excellent photo editor and an excellent designer. What they need to be able to do is be pretty good at being creative because they can figure out the platforms. You can use Canva to do design or you can use a Photoshop to do design or you can use Illustrator to use to do design. You can learn those platforms, but you have to have that creative sense to visually say, you know what, this color looks great with this color, or that picture doesn't look crisp. It should, or that video should be in slow motion. They shouldn't be in full fast motion. So you need somebody who's innately creative and they have the need to create and they, they have the adaptability to be able to learn platforms relatively quickly. So that's what makes a great content creator. But first there is the need to create special experiences for people. Okay, that's it. Those are my four top positions. I would recommend any company that hits about $10 million in revenue. And, and most often companies that hit, let's say five to $10 million in revenue should really start to think about building this team. Those four positions will build a marketing machine that will lead you to the promised land. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. This is my YouTube channel where I talk all about marketing and helping you become a better marketer, helping me become a better marketer, and hopefully leading us all to that chief marketing officer position that we all want or that head marketing position that we all want. So good luck, and we'll see you in the next video.